So guys, um, logging in to Facebook Ads Manager, I want to say something. When you create a Facebook post, boosting it is like giving money away for free to Google. You don't get all the targeting options you would get by creating and setting up your ads in the Facebook Ad Manager platform, which you can see in front of you. I'm just going to give you a walkthrough in terms of how to set your campaign up. So we're going to create a new campaign. Now you've got auction or reservation. I typically always go for option. A uh, auction. Now you can go for awareness, which is good for reach, brand awareness, video views, and store location awareness. Traffic is for links, landing page views, messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp or calls. Engagement is for people who engage on your post, view your videos, or potentially send you a message. Leads, you would want to potentially uh, use if you've got forms or you want to create conversation with people, um, try and get conversions or calls. If you want to promote an app, install or promote your app, then app promotion or sales. If you want to use catalog sales, try and get sales conversions, and of course get calls and messages. Uh, messages. I'm gonna use traffic, because most of us want link, link clicks and landing page views in general. If you want an app store, just go to it. You know, you want app downloads, go to the app one. Um, so I'm gonna go for traffic, because that's what most people typically come on here for. Now, what you want is to create a uh, the the traffic uh, campaign setup. Now, you can have streamlined, which gives you fewer set steps, tailored, which allows you to set up a specific campaign tailored to your needs or something with the best practices. Now, why are you seeing that suggestion? Um, based on my account activity, I've got previous data in there, so you know, you can use Facebook's AI to, to help you and give you a more streamlined version. But for this one, I am going to select, uh, in fact, I'm just going to select the tailored uh, campaign for Instagram advertisers. You can select manual setup, which takes you to all of the settings. In fact, do you know what? I'm changing my mind, guys. Manual. Let's go for all the settings. Um, so we name the campaign test. Um, special ad categories, so if you're going to talk about elections, politics or anything like that, you want to declare that. Otherwise, algorithmically, you'll get banned for talking about topics that you're maybe not supposed to. Campaign details. Um, again, that's, that's going to give you your auction um, or reservation and your campaign objective traffic and all that kind of stuff is there. A-B test, now you can obviously A-B test your ads, that's entirely up to you, and you can, um, you know, give Facebook Campaign Budget Plus, which will distribute your budget across all of your ad sets out there, but that's, that's a different thing altogether. So we'll go to next. Now, what do we want? I want to send people to my website. I want to, to get the maximum number of clicks. So we'll try and show your ads to people who are most likely to click on them. Now it's up to you whether you want to get people who browse and maybe look at landing pages or people who click. Um, that's entirely up to you. Now you can try and test different options here. But I want clicks. End of story. Now cost per result goal. Now you can put a cost in here if you want. Um, and if you put something in there, Meta will aim to spend your entire budget getting the most link clicks and the highest volume bid strategy. Um, it's up to you. You don't have to fill anything in there. Now, dynamic creative. Um, again, headlines and creative elements can be done automatically using Facebook's AI. You can set that up if you want um, or you can upload your own. And I would always suggest uploading your own. AI is not quite there yet. Daily budget, lifetime budget, up to you. Now, you can give a start and an end date to the campaign. 
daily budget, you can just have it running at £20 a day, £100 a day, whatever suits your marketing budget. Or you can give it a lifetime budget and say that this ad ends on the 20th of December and you'll spend 350 quid across those eight days or whatever it's going to be. Um, so lifetime budget you can use or daily budget entirely up to you. Um, I'm just going to put this to one pounds because knowing my luck, I will let that ad go live. Now obviously on the right hand side gives you estimated daily budgets and the amount of clicks I'm likely to get for that. The more you spend, the more clicks you're likely to get. Now audience controls. We can use a minimum age um, and we can go in here and we can include certain areas, whether that be Glasgow, whether that be, um, you know, very, very specific areas, you can do that. You can also exclude areas. So you could do the whole of the UK, but exclude Birmingham. Nothing against Birmingham people, but let's say you just wanted to exclude those guys because your audience wasn't there, you can exclude areas as well. Now, next section, advantage plus audience. Our ad technology automatically finds your audience. Now, Facebook have a wide range of data. Um, why not utilize that? Um, so you can do that, or you can stick in custom audiences age demographics and all that kind of stuff. So it's up to you what you want to do. If you want to target people of a certain age, of a certain gender, um, and of course, detailed targeting on their interests and behavior. Um, so I can go in here and put in search engine optimization. So I can target people who are interested in that topic. Um, or you can just let Facebook do its thing and put the put that into to their hands. Now, placements, advantage plus placements is where Facebook will allocate your budget and do their thing. Or you can select manual placements. Now, manual placements is where you will manually select where your audience is. Now you've got Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, and Audience Network. And you can go in here and see all the different placements that are available. And you can select which of those suit your campaign, whether that be Facebook feed, Facebook profile feed, Instagram feed, Instagram profile feed, Facebook marketplace. You can untick if you don't want on there. Facebook video feeds, Facebook right hand side column, Instagram Explore, Instagram Explore Home, Messenger Inbox, and so on and so forth. Now you also have Reels, in stream ads for videos, search results, messages, and you also have apps and sites in external sources. So you can select whatever one of those. Uh, suit your criteria, that is entirely up to you. If you want massive exposure, just select them all. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that um, as it stands. I'm gonna just put that to there and go to next. Now you can call the ad whatever you want. Now Facebook page and Instagram account, I can select. Um, no problem at all, those are attached to my account. Ad setup, I can manually upload images or videos, or if I've got an e-com store, I can upload the catalog. Uh, now, format, how would you like to structure your ad? I can have a single image or video, a carousel, two or more scrollable images or videos, or a collection of them all. Now, other option, multi-advertiser ads. Just leave it ticked. It says it's recommended. Don't mess about with it. Um, add creative. This is where you can have primary text, headline, description, and the call to action is really important. So is it download now, order now, get access, 
get updates, you can have whatever you want in there. Um, and destination, where do people go to? Is it uh, your website? Is it somewhere else? That's entirely up to you. You may have a click funnels page, you might have whatever. You might even just be trying to force people to a Facebook event. You can do that as well. Languages, add uh, your own translations to translate the ad to people in other languages. You may or may not want to do that. And tracking, you can track website events, app events, you can put in different URL parameters and boom, you're ready to go. Simple and easy to do. All I would really emphasize is if you've got a Facebook pixel, you may want to consider um, using the data that's on there. What that basically does is you can set up a pixel, add it to your website. Now, 90% of people who land in your website don't buy, but what you can do is follow them around the internet using your Facebook pixel, landing ads on their social media. Um, so Facebook pixel is something that uh, you can utilize to again, land on the right people, but the targeting options, the interests, the demographics and everything else is really, really important to consider. And there are other targeting options out there and I'm going to go into further targeting options in the next video. That is just the basic setup for Facebook ads, which also does allow you to do Instagram ads or it's meta, call it that. Um, but that's the basic setup. We'll go into custom lookalike audiences and everything else in the next video.